Uh, sad news, of course. How is the market looking at it? Yeah, very sad news this morning when we heard that um, that Mr. Otto had uh, had passed away. Um, SMFG has uh, the shares have been fairly stable today. Uh, it's been largely in line with uh, with its mega bank peers, sort of in the, the up up in the mid uh, one one and a half percent range. Uh, we first heard uh, that um, Mr. Otto uh, was unwell uh, earlier this month um, when uh, the bank announced its uh, interim uh, results. Uh, and as customary for Japanese banks, the CEO to brief uh, media at those those times, uh, but he sat out at the bank at that stage, said that he was uh, he was unwell. So, uh, shocking news this morning. Uh, very sad. Uh, mm. uh, Gareth, what do we know I I in terms of well, what he was instrumental of at uh, the helm of uh, what is I think the second biggest bank I in Japan, and on top of that, do they have a succession plan in place? Yeah, that's right. Um, the Deputy President Nakashima has uh, has taken over in the interim, uh, and they said that they will uh, announce uh, a new group CEO uh, uh, in due in due course. Obviously, there's a process to go through uh, uh, with with these kind of appointments. Um, generally, Japanese banks uh, would, do have a pretty strong. Uh, 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 group of executives, uh, and and almost certainly it will be somebody from the uh, existing group of executives that will be chosen to uh, to succeed him. Uh, he's been a, a pretty instrumental leader. He's uh, he's overseen a multi-billion-dollar uh, expansion, uh, particularly into Asia. Uh, he was uh, involved in the the, the the big investment in Jefferies that uh, SMFG made uh, recently. He's also been instrumental. He's been a, a business leader in Japan as well. He's also sitting uh, vice chair of the Japan's biggest. Uh, business lobby, Kate Anneran.